Hello, my name is Alexis, and I have been coming to The Way for 13 years. My life before Christ, I was a mess. I was addicted to drugs. I'd been in abusive relationship after abusive relationship. I actually remember one day I was with my ex and we were getting high and he just happened to be a backslidden Christian. But he started to open up the word and I would look at him like, oh my God, what are you doing? Like, cause I always believed in God, but I didn't know about relationship with Jesus or anything like that. And he would just start reading the word. And it was so crazy because just him reading the word started changing my heart. I remember telling him like, I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't wanna live this life anymore. I don't wanna live like this anymore. And you know, God started doing something in me. And I remember getting arrested. I had warrants out for my arrest. I ended up going to jail. While I was in jail, I went to a church service. And in that service, they were singing songs that I knew from childhood and they preached a message and they gave me a little Bible. And I went back to my room and I looked in that Bible and the back of the Bible was a prayer to receive salvation. And I prayed that prayer. Fast forward, I get out of jail and I just start to pursue God. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to find out who this Jesus is and a relationship with him. I ended up moving to California, going to a couple churches, and I ended up here at the Wayworld Outreach. And I got on fire here. I didn't know that I could be set free from the bondage and the anger and the pain and all the things that I had been through. And coming to this church and taking all of the classes, Holy Warriors, back then it was Bible in a year, God started to grow me and I've been on fire ever since. I just thank God for Jesus and for the cross, you know, and there's power in the word that God could even use a backslidden Christian reading the word of God and it could change somebody's heart. That is power in the gospel and I'm grateful for that.